Hello everybody, welcome to another Zabbix video. This time I will talk about Windows Server Monitoring or Windows Workstation Monitoring. How to start a service if Zabbix detects when uh, if Zabbix detects that service is down. Uh, the whole idea of this video is that there is an elegant method to utilize a tag and tag value and use the tag value as an argument for the remote command. Like how fancy is that? Like uh, Zabbix that creates a problem, the problem contains a tag and a, uh, sometimes a tag can also have a tag value and we will use that value like really to uh, forward, uh, I, I mean, like you use a, as a uh, yeah argument for the remote command. Let's have a look uh, uh, how to set up something like that. Uh, also, like uh, since we are dealing with remote remedy, uh, we should and, and, and uh, I'm using in this example 7.0, and I will use completely active communication. And by active communication, I mean like no interface is defined here at the host level. Uh, so agent will kind of lead the communication, will reach out the proxy and proxy will reach out the server and uh, he will understand like when the service goes down and when we need to restart. Uh, so there is no IP address. If you want to reproduce the same thing, uh, we need 7.0. Also, we need to like in at, at least in my setup, uh, I'm using Zabbix server. Uh, inside the Zabbix server, there is a timeout 30. Uh, prior to the 7.0, uh, it this setting was uh, having completely different meaning. It was used for the passive checks. What is the budget to succeed collecting data? But starting from the 7.0, it's it's like a connection timeout. It's a different thing. Uh, and so for server, it's 30 seconds. For proxy, it's 29 seconds. If you have a proxy in the middle and then at the agent side, uh, at the agent side, I have uh, like 28 seconds. So this is the communication. And th these are all custom settings. If you want to reproduce uh, absolutely the same lab, then yeah, uh, po pause the video and uh, uh, reproduce the thing. Uh, okay, uh, now uh, on the template side, how to make this magic happen and we will all alter the official template, data collection templates. And uh, there is one official one uh, for active checks only. And this is really like I, I just uploaded a very fresh copy from the official repository. What we will do is we will clone this template and uh, call it something like uh, uh, important uh, services. And uh, under the macro section, uh, the official template is having uh, like a blacklist. This is the blacklist and this is the whitelist. And the whitelist is having everything right now and I will completely ignore the blacklist and uh, come up with the service list which I care about. Uh, let's visit the Windows Server and one of the services will be Printer Spoiler, quite a classic one. Uh, so copy the service name, put it over here uh, and then after a pipe like uh, we can add even more and for the example I will give these themes. So if uh, out from the box these services run 24-7 all the time and if Zabbix detects they are down, uh, Zabbix will automatically start back the service uh, by using the tag value for the action. Okay, so this is the uh, whitelist add. Uh, also for the sake of demonstration, I will increase the data collection, the frequency. Here we have Windows Service Discovery, item prototypes, instead of one minute, let's do five seconds. And uh, talking about tag and tag value. So this item prototype, it res it's responsible about picking up the state. What is the cur current state? Uh, is it down? Is it running? And uh, we, this item prototype is having a lot of tags. And how the action will work, it will really take advantage of this field. Like inside the action, we will tell 
their Zabbix software, please locate what is the value of this tag service. And uh, since this is a low level discovery macro, so uh, the name of the service which needs to be restarted or started, it will be as a value. So this line is very, very important for this uh, to succeed. OK, update. And uh, what's next? I think everything is there. Now well, we will apply the template data collection hosts. Uh, this is my uh, host object. And here we will be uh, important services. So this is active checks, no interfaces at all. Uh, update. And we see like items 34 and in the next like 20 seconds, uh, it will uh, discover something more. It will discover those themes and uh, the spoiler service and kind of like start to uh, start to monitor the state every five seconds. Uh, now on the action side, uh, let's do like um, we need to create like a script here. And uh, one script will be manual host action. And uh, so this is the setup manual host action. And I will put like net uh, stop and uh, just for the demonstration themes. So this is a static one. Uh, so the purpose of this is like to show that I can remotely connect to the um, Zabbix agent and tell like, let's shut down this service or restart. And uh, here, um, OK, host groups, work stations. OK, net stop, uh, add. And uh, so this is manual action. And I will create another one, uh, which will be really designed for that automated action. Uh, let's click this one, clone. And uh, there is like a macro here. I have a documentation. Uh, if we study the built in macros, one of the macros is uh, event tags, all caps. And then after the dot, uh, even if like um, if the tag is not all caps, we can uh, put uh, like what is the tag. And in our situation, the tag at the prototype level was service. Uh, so I can copy this guy, copy, uh, put it over here. And um, here we will put uh, service. So this will read the value of the service tag, which comes along when the problem is generated. And this will be called dynamic uh, start of service, something like that. OK, and same group. Uh, but instead of start uh, stop, we need to start. OK, add. And so this is the action which needs to which uh, needs to uh, start the service. Uh, dynamic start uh, dynamic. Let's start uh, dynamic. Let's start like this. Uh, putting back net. So one is manual action. Uh, ah, Let's stop. Uh, this is the manual action, and this is supposed to be uh, action operation. We are fully. We want to fully automate update. Okay, so th this thing I can execute manually, and this can be done from the perspective of uh, like automation. And the last step would be creating that action. Uh, that is done under the alerts actions trigger actions, and here I will put. Uh, like this, create uh, automatically uh, start uh, uh, like Windows service when stopped, something like that. Okay, and here, like uh, I will target that masterpiece. Uh, important, click add. Uh, also target the tag uh, name. Tag name will be service. Add, um, OK, uh, maybe add more conditions later. Uh, so template and name is service and uh, operations like what to do, add. And we have this dynamic net restart. Uh, OK, 
uh, I mean net start and here we said like the checkbox net uh, current host and that should be everything okay add and uh, add uh, actually I want to add one more condition just to be more protective to not execute that stuff uh, when not necessary so let's include this keyword as well uh, is not running and alerts actions trigger actions and um, start click and add here if trigger if event name is uh, contains not running is not running add so now it's a very strong condition um, and so uh, let's update and uh, start to do the crash test and I will start by demonstrating that manual command we just installed so using the front end I can really start shut down something uh, but before I do that uh, let's tell the log because uh, we have like here log remote commands it will print everything which the Zabbix instance is controlling tail minus follow Zabbix agent log let's put it bigger screen enter and uh, now uh, hitting that button inside the graphical interface net stop click and visiting back here uh, wrong terminal wrong terminals <laughs> and um, and here you go like we receive like message from the higher means like somebody is stopping the service and Zabbix is checking every five seconds if this thing uh, is uh, up or down and if it is uh, like down um, very soon and <laughs> well I'm talking like somebody did uh, start the teams back and uh, now we can in retrospect explore what was happening behind the curtains uh, while visiting the front end so this was manual behavior human did click the button and remotely stop the service and if we explore the problems page uh, we can in retrospect uh, see that uh, like this problem when it started 32 39 and uh, it did go for like 10 some something seconds because <laughs> data collection happens every five seconds and if we put the tags here we can kind of uh, start to explain how it works uh, inside the tags we have um, like tag service themes and uh, just to like pinpoint again uh, this service te themes it's uh, inside the scripts we have this thing like event tags service so it reads exactly what is value of this guy and the value is themes and if we click on the timestamp we can see details how this was played uh, click and we can see that behind the curtains like on this host uh, a remote command net start themes was executed uh, let's try the other service actually uh, so because i made one static thing with the themes uh, and the other one was um, uh, printer spoiler uh, stop and let's um, like maybe yeah let's look here and inside the log maybe Zabbix will uh, start it back in the next 10 seconds and then we can explore the graphical interface not yet uh, let's explore the problems page click and we see the problem and we see the action is in the progress if I refresh the page it is still running still running okay and grayed out uh, so it did succeeded and uh, if we click on timestamp we see now uh, net start spoiler so I never defined such action manually like this was not hard-coded by by any means uh, so it it was able to really read that service title and use that as an argument okay okay um, yeah and here we also see the behavior that it is uh, starting the service back that that is everything for this video uh, so the excitement is uh, like we can
take advantage of tags and uh, since the tag consists with two parts it's a tag and tag value we can really dynamically start to define these scripts like in this example i was using net start but of course we can use net sto uh, stop net restart maybe uh, help of powershell and uh, like read the value of the tag and pass that value uh, inside the action and execute the command and fix the problem automatically. That is everything. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.